So let, let's talk about these allergies. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Hello. Hey, <laughs> Well, the video today, I wanted to talk to you about allergies. Okay. You know, I know that's a big thing with singers. It's a big thing with me. It controls my life. I mean, have you ever, like, had any issues with allergies that you want to tell us about? Absolutely. My allergies came more from eating habits than anything else. I have been, for most of my life, very allergic to dairy. I thought that I had a problem with singing high notes. But it wasn't true. It just was a food that I was eating because those types of food make much more mucus happen within this area in here. And um, you have like muscles inside and a muscle called a soft palate. And your sinuses are up here and then your mouth and stuff is here. So if you have a lot of extra like phlegm and stuff in this region, it's going to like push down on your voice and make your voice sound more nasally, have a harder time singing high notes and stuff like that. Uh, I can only imagine how many people are going through that and going through that way. Great news, yeah, but not exactly. great news. It is, it is good news because I guess in some cases you can fix things without having to actually do as much work as you think. Right. You know, but sometimes that means you have to be willing to not eat the things you love in make, okay. achieving your goals rather more important than that yummy delicious thing you're trying to eat. Oh my god, cheese. Right, exactly. <laughs> I did some reading about pollen exposure yeah. and how it can cause inflammation in the vocal folds. Mm -hmm. What do you know about that? Um, I've seen that happen quite a lot with people. Vocal cords have to vibrate very quickly to produce a higher frequency sound. Mm -hmm. Something that is more heavy is going to vibrate at a slower pace. So you're going to automatically have a harder time singing higher notes when you have that going on. And to me it's important to give yourself enough space away from that stuff if you're really noticing you're having a trouble with it. It's not like you can avoid going outside, that's ridiculous, right. right? But maybe not going outside to an all-day pool party or a picnic on the beach when there's really high counts outside because you can actually do research and look at the weather and find out whether or not that pollen you're trying to be not exposed to is out there during the time you're trying to be outside. Wow. So, yeah, it, it, it's really a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a thing. Wow. Yeah. Well, that is good to know. Another thing we can com combat, and you know, we have resources to do that. Everyone yeah. does. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Takes a little bit extra work, but you can definitely achieve it. That looks, it makes a lot more sense. The over-the-counter antihistamines. These medicines are known to dry up too much mucus and cause the vocal folds to be abrasive. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that. So for something to be able to vibrate quickly, it has to be lubricated, mm -hmm. right? And so you hear about people drinking a lot of water when they're supposed to be singing because vocal cords that are vibrating to produce sound are going to be vibrating any of the liquid off of your vocal cords pretty quickly by just the vibrations. So the amount of liquid that you're bringing in on a regular basis is important, as well as the amount of liquid that your body can create to do that. Huh. What you do when you get the drugs is you get something that takes the liquid out of your body. It can't choose which one it's going to take out. It just goes for that. And in that, that takes out everything that you need. So it is a really good idea to go on something like that if you're really having that much trouble where you can't like breathe or sing at all or something's going on. But secondary, you've got to change up some things in your habit and your routines to fix that because by taking the medication, you're going to create another problem as well. Huh. Wow. Yeah. That's that's crazy. The best way to handle it is really it's really difficult. It's not the easiest way to go, but it's to <laughs> Alright, well thank you guys so much for being part of our video and I hope you find this information helpful. This is Jermichael and I'm Roxy. Bye. Bye.